Hello everybody, I am Conquering History Games, and welcome to a sort of Black Friday sale, uh, not sale, uh, special, here on the channel. Uh, it's another Kaiser Reich, or Kaiser Redo guide, I should say, uh, in Hearts of Iron 4. Uh, first off, I want to say a very happy Thanksgiving to everybody watching this, uh, whether you live in the United States or elsewhere. Hopefully you, can, uh, you have been able to find some things this year to be thankful for. <clears throat> now, uh, this is going to be a relatively short guide, and... Uh, we're not going to really be looking at the map until the very end because I'm showing you this off of my Cerulean France save file. So it's going to have spoilers for episodes that I have not uploaded yet. So that's why we're starting on the screen. Now, what this guide is going to do is I'm going to show you how to get uh, Nestor Makano. I hope I'm pronouncing his name correctly. <laughs> uh, or Ma Makno, I think is actually how it's pronounced. Uh, who was in our tone, our own timeline, a Ukrainian anarchist, um, who was the leader of an anarchistic army uh, for several years during the period of the Bolshevik Revolution slash Russian Civil War. Now, in the Kaiserreich universe, he is in France, and so I'm going to show you how we can unlock his path here, go to Counter Revolution, and then to a state of anarchy, and so the Black Guard uh, ends up in charge. Hence the Black Friday thing. So, uh, the way this is going to work, uh, you cannot do this in base Hearts of Iron uh, for Kaiser Reich. This is a Kaiser Redo thing. You want to have the Sorellians win the initial election and go down their tree. You're eventually going to take Day of Infamy, Infamy which, uh, spoilers, if you couldn't tell from the focus art that has uh, you know the hole in his brain, it is where Valois, who is the initial chairman, will be killed. And then this can lead into you choosing to either have uh, the vanguard part of the Cerulians under um, under uh, uh, Marcel Diet take charge, or you could have um, uh, what's his name Marcel Marcel Bucard take control and the Revolutionary Legion uh, down this way as well with his ultra national syndicalists. So you're going to take Day of Infamy. And you're going to get this really awful national spirit, which is, uh, well, it says it right here, uh, death of our leader, which is going to lower your stability by 15%, as well as hurting your daily political power gain. Uh, and then some more bad things are to come, which uh, I'm going to cut to now. After Valois has died, you're going to start getting events like this, Black Guard launch bombing campaign in response to Cerulean aggression and discrimination against Anarchists and Anarcho-Syndicalists. The Black Guard of starting a bombing campaign, bombing any business, office, or administrative building related to the Cerulean's, which is going to hurt your political power and stability, and the threat of there being anarchy will increase. You are going to have also this uh, new national spirit called Cerulean Division, because it's not clear who is going to be the person who takes over the Cerulean party after Valois' death. So that's also going to take you another minus 15% stability and a daily political power gain of minus 0.25. Eventually, you're going to get this event, which is very uh, key, where Pierre Laval is going to call for Cerulean unity. He's the head of the Cerulean Council temporarily following Valois' death. Uh, now, you could choose to unify, which is going to hurt you more than if you say get off the fence and get a pick a side. Uh, so, if you say France requires unity, even though it costs more, that's where you can actually successfully continue the rest of the Cerulean tree. But we're not trying to do that. We're trying to get Nestor in charge and the Black Guard. So, you're going to say um, get off of the fence and pick a side. Following this, there will continue to be a series of events. Uh, about just how the situation in France is deteriorating. And uh, what you're just always going to want to do is take the event that ends with the threat of anarchy will increase. Uh, so vanguardists and ultranational syndicalists run riots in the streets. These are the uh, two branches of the Cerulean's. You're going to say brothers kill brothers. If you've been doing things right, you're going to be seeing that the Black Guard is getting more powerful, uh, which is causing the stability in your country to get worse. As you can see, we're already at negative 87%. And without getting too, anything, too much into things, before Valois died, my stability in this campaign was very, very good. You're going to be approaching the end when the Black Guard starts openly executing Cerulean politicians, which, again, is going to lower your political power even more and your stability even more. You're also going to want to keep an eye on the calendar, by the way. This is all of this, if you're speeding, trying to speed through it, 
is going to still take several months. So you need to be prepared for that depending on if you're in a war or anything like that. So with that, you're now at minus 100% stability. Hey, at least it can't get any worse, right? Several of the unions in France are going to declare their loyalty to the Black Guard, which, again, will destroy more of your base stability. Uh, and it, it should be noted that this is base stability that we are talking about. These are not temporary effects, so these are things that you're going to have to deal with after you have made the switch over. Finally, you'll get the event Black Guard Sees Paris. The Cerulean's time is up. The Black Guard have marched into Paris, killing anyone and everyone in the streets who dare oppose them. The Cerulean Party headquarters is currently being stormed as loud gunshots and screaming are heard inside. No doubt this will be a bloody day in the history of French politics. Now, you can actually fend off the attackers at this point if for some reason you're just up for a Cerulean campaign that's on hard mode or something. Uh, but no, instead, we're going to take the first option. This is going to do minus 50% base stability. The anarchists will become the ruling party. 30% of totalism support will evaporate, and it'll instead go into radical socialism for 30%. The black guard will become the leader of the radical socialists. Nestor Makno will become one of your field marshals. This is going to get rid of all of your ministers and heads of government. There's going to be uh, damage done in Paris because that's where the fighting occurred. 20,000 men will be lost, and you're going to lose 2,000 infantry uh, rifles. And the Radical Socialist Party, which before was known as the Anarchists, will now be known as Garde Noir. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Noir means Noir is black. Uh, so if anybody's a fan of that show, The Boys, yes, his name is Black Black. Uh, so with that, you have the Black Guard in charge. You can go ahead and read that. Uh, it's explaining it. And uh, there you have the Garde Noir, who in this situation have 51% popularity. You are still going to have Death of Our Leader, Cerulean Division, and Black Guard Insurgency for just a little bit until... A few days later, you're going to get this event, A Leader, where it's essentially asking, do you want Makano himself to be in charge, or do you want the Black Guard to be in charge? Uh... So this is mostly a personal choice, but if you do go with Nestor Bachnow, you're going to be hit with the Black Father effect, which is going to uh, lower your stability by 10% and increase, decrease your daily political power gain by 0 0.10. So uh, let's just kind of go to midnight and see what sorts of things are happening. Okay. So if we go over here, you get your brand new flag. There's Nestor Bachnow in charge. Uh, you could read about him there. And... Uh, Te shortly, uh, the death of our leader and the Cerulean Division and the Black Guard Insurgency will go away once you are done with the Counter-Revolution. Uh, so, actually, that's only five more days, so I guess we'll just fast forward uh, so we can see that. Um, give it just a minute. And once we do see that, I'm going to then show you guys of what happens to the uh, the country of France, what it looks like. Now, uh, this at this point, it's not really going to be too much in terms of spoilers for my Cerulean France campaign, because the whole time for this particular save where I was going with uh, Nestor, I was just not doing anything. You're seeing all these alerts up here. You know, I'm not I'm not using my research slots. I'm not assigning divisions and things like that. Uh, so you see, I'm just I'm just ignoring anything that's going on in the world. So I don't even know what it's about to look like. Okay. Uh, Counter-revolution is complete, and then all of those negative Cerulean national spirits go away. You can now do State of Anarchy and declare uh, the Free Nation of Anarchy. And so now, yeah, now's your chance. If you don't want to get spoiled, turn it off now and just subscribe before you go. Here it is, the Free Territory of France, which changes to a black color, which I think a lot of you would like, since you're, you're black France now. Uh, and there you have it. So, I hope you enjoy your Black Friday and uh, play some Nestor, if you like. Uh, anybody who's ever seen footage of a, of a Black Friday sale in the United States knows how anarchistic they really get at those front doors as people charge in. <laughs> so it's very fitting. Uh, I'm Conquering History Games. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it and found it helpful or fun, uh, please be sure to subscribe and click the bell so you're always going to be notified whenever a new video like this goes up on the channel. And if you really want to support me, go ahead and uh, click my links down in the description, including ones to the link to my Patreon, where you can uh, you know, donate to the cause and join the Conquering Army for as little as $1 a month. I'm Conquering History Games. Have a great weekend, a happy Thanksgiving, a happy holidays, a happy new year, and I will see you all next time.
Come on. <laughs> 